Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2013 S-Line A5 Audi two-door uh, sport coupe. Very nice car with a uh, similar dent to the one that we did recently. If you guys see there in the board, I'll give you a better angle. Um, if we analyze this dent, it goes all the way down to here. Obviously comes up and over this brow or body line and has a large brow here. Uh, you know, it's paintless dent repair. I told the customer the same thing I always tell the customer. We're going to get it to that 80, 85% mark where it's going to be very tough to see. I also noticed there's a little tiny dinger right here that we'll take care of. Um, there might even be another video on this car that we're going to do. But right now, let's see. I've got it warmed up. And it's at 106, 106 degrees. I could probably turn this up to the number two setting and keep it warm i'm going to use my rdi 24 30, or 24 inch dent craft tool and i think what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to come through the top edge first and uh i've got this pulled back and i'm just going to start Ooh, that's hot metal and i'm just going to start babying this dent out and basically is when i say I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video. I really do. Um, if you guys would, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. And we sure appreciate it. I'm just trying to find my... Well, I know where my tool is, but I'm just trying to find my right push. Because we don't want to just go in the center of that and make a large push. I'm basically trying to run this edge first. And so now that I kind of see where my tool is... It's uh, let me grab a different angle. I think I'll this board back up a little bit more. And I definitely don't want to burn my board. You know, I might even turn this down to the two setting. It's a beautiful day, obviously. We're out here in nature. And um, if, if you guys look or if you know about these cars, this phalange goes up and underneath. So for me to get down to this edge, um, there is I could use my J-hook or there is a tool called an edge jack, which I don't have. Um, for just wheel well, wheel lip edges. Um, but we'll get tricky on that one and get, get the rest of that edge out. Right now I'm up on the top dent and I just I thought I'd just start working it from the from the line, but I'm not. I'm coming from the top down. I'm just seeing whatever I can get out of this thing. And uh, this one is is a patience, guys. This one's not going to be done <clears throat> completely on camera. We're gonna take our time and do this really right. It's a real nice car for a real nice guy, and we're gonna do it real nice. So. Um, I just thought I'd bring you in for basically what the intro is on a dent like this. That sounded like a little stressing of a clip. And I can tell this is extremely hot now. 130, that's right where I want it. I might even turn that off. It's right where I want it. That means I gotta make my pushes pretty much in the next 30 seconds to get what I want to get out of this heating cycle. Um, guys, on a dent like this, the heat is, is almost imperative. It's crucial. I wouldn't do this dent without getting it warm. And uh, if you've been watching the channel and you've been noticing what I've been doing, um, I've been using the, the rubber tips a little bit more on, on severe dents like this. <clears throat> Uh, I was not basically a fan because I hadn't gotten used to them and after getting used to them it's a it's a good tool to have in the bag and it definitely makes some of these pushes come out a lot less severe and gives me a little bit more room to move so I do like the dent craft tool that I'm using here I don't think I'm going to name it number one yet, but... Oh, I haven't gotten a name for it yet. 
hey, leave a name in the comments. And the names of my other tools are number one, uh, Clutch, Bertha, Dad, Grandpa, um, Lenny. Squiggy broke. He became um, broken handle and broken tip. And I've got Hammy and Tappy right there. So yeah, leave a comment. What should I name this tool? It's a, I think it's a 7 16 I don't know. It's a half inch. It's a half inch rod. So it's a, it's a stout tool. Large green handle. But it definitely does the job in this case. So I know that this this portion of the video is going to be another 20 or 30 minutes of me doing exactly what I'm doing right now, which is getting behind here, looking at that edge and and babying it. Um, and you're saying, well, I've already seen so much of this dent come out. Why can't I just see the, the next 20 minutes? Because it's literally like watching grass grow. It's me just doing a little bit of this movement. Um, I will come back to you guys in just a bit and show you what we've got as far as maybe not the final result, but what we've got when we get closer to being done on this. Okay, guys, here's what we ended up with. I just realized I have another little dent to do right here. Um, it has a little, little wave to it, but it's exactly what I promised the customer, which is 80 to 85%, what I call a band-aid to this situation without having to take this car to a body shop. Um, you know, any guy with a real good eye can see that it has a little bit of a, that where that stretch metal had to go, has a little pinch there. Got this all back up, put together. Um, I think we did pretty good on this one. Um, and I think the customer's gonna be really happy with the outcome of it because it is exactly what I promised. I never say the thing is gonna be 100% perfect, especially on a collision style situation, which this was. Um, so, uh, Guys, if you like this video, hit up, hit up the like button. We sure appreciate it. And uh, other than that, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.